I'm on a mission to monetize this brand new YouTube channel in 31 days during the month of January to show you that it can be done. If you saw my first week update, you'd know that the mission felt impossible for reasons that I outlined in this video. TLDR, you need 4,000 watch hours. In shorts, views don't count towards watch hours. Super sad. It's the reason I decided to make these weekly video updates because longer form videos do count, so please watch until the end. This week I am feeling slightly more optimistic and I'll tell you why in a moment it has to do with a new YouTube update, plus everything I did and learned this last week, but first, an update. Here's exactly how it's going as of January 12th. First off, I have been extremely consistent. My goal was to post four shorts a day, every day in January, and so far so good. Plus I'm scheduled ahead of time into the 16th, so I'm definitely thinking that I can achieve that goal. That means 124 videos by the end of the month, 120 shorts, and four longer updates like this. Subscriber-wise, the channel has slowed down a little bit, but I did cross the 500 subscriber threshold on January 11th, which is very exciting. My goal for the the month is 1,000 subscribers, which is what you need to apply for monetization. And it is going to be a push, but I think I'll get there, especially if you subscribe right now. Thanks. <laughs> views are looking very steady. I crossed 3,400 views in a day twice last week, which is awesome. I only crossed 3,400 views twice in four years on my main channel, The Money Resolution, so that is the power of shorts. Of course, view time on shorts is probably around 20 seconds on average, whereas I average five minutes and 44 seconds on my other channel. And thousands of shorts views do not equate to thousands of subscribers clearly. I'm at 25,000 views overall. I'm approaching 200 watch hours. Again, I need 4,000, so yikes, and thanks for watching this video. And I've published around 50 videos in total, depending on when I post this video. Most of all, I'm still having fun. Here's what I learned this last week, including why I'm slightly more optimistic about getting monetized this month based on a recent YouTube update. First, sadly, you cannot update your shorts thumbnail, at least not right now. Months ago, you could select from a few frames, but I learned that YouTube is currently testing custom thumbnails for shorts. Android users, I believe, have the ability to pick any frame from their short right now as a thumbnail. Sadly, I'm an iPhone Mac guy, so YouTube has actually disabled any flexibility with shorts thumbnails for this month, at least. So in every short, I look like this with my mouth wide open, and they all look mostly the same. And that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Hopefully picking your own frame is a feature that rolls out for us iPhone users. There are two kinds of shorts, by the way, that you can post. There's regular and there's remix. Regular is any new video under 60 seconds that's filmed vertically, but remix is taking a clip from a longer video and posting that as a short. I'm experimenting with this more in the coming days, so I can't tell you which works better, but the nice thing about remix videos is that they contain a link on screen to the longer video that the user can actually click to go view, plus no editing, really. <laughs> Anecdotally, I've also learned that comments can be pretty random and sort of funny on Shorts content. To show you what I mean, here are a handful of my favorite comments that made me chuckle or just scratch my head. <laughs> yeah, true brother, you are top G. Thanks for that. In this short about how hooks aren't important, he uses a hook, skull emoji. And yep, I probably did. Gaining 1,000 subscribers when you start on YouTube must be hellish to reach. And I would say if you're brand, brand new, absolutely. Luckily, I have a few years of experience. Trust, that's all they said. That's a good sign, I think. Why you didn't put captions. If they mean those fun animated words you can put on screen as I talk, I would love to figure out how to do that. Someone please let me know if you know how in the comments. Three ways to earn more money. Number one, earn more money. No lies detected there. Just marry rich, stop dating regular people. And that is one method for sure, but I would argue you could be rich and regular. I don't know. <laughs> then there's this one that makes me look over my shoulder a little bit. Foolish passive income Frankie, my finance teacher, compound interest Bernatz is on to you. Okay. And finally, 320th subscriber. I love that. And you should subscribe right now and let me know what your number is. You'd also become a legend in my book. Yesterday, I also took some time to dig through some of my data, and this is something you should always do if you're a content creator. There is gold in the data so that you can work smarter, not harder. Here are some of my stray observations about my data so far. Oh, but first, 
two quick tips. Number one, you can add data fields by clicking here or here and then highlighting more metrics. Then select from this huge list of options. There are even more options, by the way, if you're monetized. And number two, you can actually export this data to Excel or Google Sheets so that you can see more than 50 lines of data and dig in a little bit deeper, which is clearly what I did here. It looks like my top viewed video is pro tip for medium writers, hashtag shorts. My worst video is the ups and downs of a passive income journey hashtag shorts. I feel like including shorts doesn't necessarily matter in my opinion so far. I do think titles with more mystery do better than revealing the answer. So something like these passive income streams are not worth it. It's meta, but talking about my passive income 30 day challenge goal with this YouTube channel has actually done pretty well. They make up four of my top 12 videos and gained me 150 subscribers between those. Ironically, my short with the longest view time is 51 seconds. It's titled YouTube hashtag shorts will blow up in 2023. It's also my only video with an average view duration above 100%. It's at 105%. Since shorts replay when they end, I'm guessing that people started re-watching that video the second time, although I'm not really sure. Impression click-through rate is an extremely important metric, especially if you customize those thumbnails. And it looks like my best short for click-through rate is titled Passive Income is Freaking Awesome. All caps. <laughs> Passive income for lazy people also did pretty well. Only 18% of my shorts have gained a thousand or more views so far. That's about one out of every five. So maybe five shorts a day is actually the sweet spot. Remix your best content for passive income was my second most liked short, which is the technique I actually use for about half of my shorts as a strategy. But it was also my second most disliked short. Seven best passive income streams had my most returning viewers for a short. The last observation, the data also also says I lost 46 subscribers, but it isn't showing me which videos I lost subscribers from. Perhaps that's a glitch in the data. That would have been great data to have so I could figure out what not to do. <laughs> I promise I'm gonna have a lot better learnings from data to share on my longer form video recap at the end of this challenge, but those are some of the quick highlights. And finally, I wanted to share that big update about YouTube Shorts I learned this last week that gives me a slightly larger sliver of hope about getting monetized this month. As of January 10th, YouTube renamed the monetization section in the YouTube Studio dashboard to just earn and they have totally updated this page. Luckily, the update mostly applies to shorts creators. So the first thing you'll see is this whole bit about the five ways to earn money. The new addition though is from shorts feed ads. Upon digging deeper, I found out you can start earning from shorts ads starting February 1st, which is not this month for my challenge, but still exciting for the rest of the year. But Here's the very important part. How do I join, which is the partner program? First, you need 1,000 subscribers, as I've mentioned, plus one of the following, either 4,000 watch hours, and I mentioned that views from shorts don't count towards that, or 10 million shorts views within the last 90 days. So look at that, there's hope. I mean, 10 million views is a ton. We're talking like 10 viral videos or one mega viral video, but, you're saying there's a chance. I'm at 2,100 views, which I figured out is around 2% of the way there. I only need to 47X that number in 20 days. Obviously, I'm nowhere near that requirement, but I'm still happy to see this new way to get monetized and this new way to earn money with YouTube Shorts. Will I get there in 30 days? Slim, slim, slim shady chance, but you bet your bottom dollar I'm not gonna stop trying. So what are your thoughts on this monetization update? Any advice or ideas for how I can get there? I am all ears in the comments. The more wacky and creative, the better. Just don't tell me I need to dance. Speaking of bottom dollars, which that sounds kind of weird. As a bonus passive income stream this month, I also launched a Patreon. So I wanted to shout out my first two Patreon subscribers because that's something you actually get when you support me at the $5 tier. So thank you Paolo J and Nick G for supporting me in this project. I appreciate you both so much. I'm gonna get you that free book download here in this next week. And by the way, they got early access to today's video. Head over to the link on screen or in the description or just search Passive Income Resolution on Patreon to learn more and get involved. I would love to have you on the squad. My name is Frankie. Have an amazing week or weekend ahead. I'll see you next week with that next update or maybe sooner with Daily Shorts. If you wanna watch my first weekly update and you haven't seen it yet, check that out here. And if nothing else, just let me know if you're enjoying these weekly updates. I bumped the mic. I'm just, I'm just stalling so you'll click it. Okay, fine, bye.